What is up guys, Julius here and today I've prepared 5 shake transitions. Take a look. As you can see there is a lot going on but it's actually not that difficult. So I prepared a sequence here in my premiere of a bunch of different skateboard clips which I will be showcasing the shake transitions on. So the first thing you want to do to do any of these transitions is to go over here into your project, right click, new item, adjust some layer and hit OK. Next up you want to go to where your clips meet, you can do that by holding down shift and pressing the down arrow. Next you want to go 5 frames to the left, you do that by holding down shift and pressing the left arrow. Next you want to apply your adjustment layer. And you want to go 10 frames to the right, you do that by holding down shift and pressing the right arrow twice. Like so. First shake transition I'm going to show you with using the transform effect. Find it over here under effects, video effects, thought transform and drag that on top of your adjustment layer go to the start of your adjustment layer like so and what we want to do here is key the position the scale so i'm going to do three frames i'm going to change the position to the top left corner to something like 912 or 58 but you can do whatever you want you want to go one frame Let's change it to something like 11.59 and 5.40 over here, then go two frames and then put it down into the left bottom corner, so something like 8.27 and 4.14 on the scale, then go one to one frame maybe here, so it's mirrored, maybe go 8.77 and 564 so we touch all corners then go to the end and reset and next we, as you can see we get these black edges the way we get around that is by going to the middle of the clip turning up the scale like so so now it looks like this not very shaky so far but what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our keyframes Except the middle bottle one, except the middle button one. I'm gonna go to Pro Interpolation and Bezier. So now it's a lot more smooth. Next thing you want to do is click off this, use Composition Shutter Angle, change this to 360. And now we have this really smooth shake transition. So take a look. Now for shake transition 2, we are going to use the adjustment layer again, so just drag it over here, so it's 5 clips on each side of the clip, let's just delete the transform like so, and we are going to go into video effects, blur and sharpen, directional blur like so, change the direction to 90, start keying the blur length, maybe 77, go 16, 77 and just keep doing that the entire clip. Let's speed this up. Right, that's very simple. Take a look. Simple yet effective. This next shake transition I'm gonna call 2.5. It's very easy to do. You drag the previous one with the exact same keyframes on top. So we're using the directional blur again, but just change the direction. And now you have a vertical shake, which is pretty nice. Take a look. And the last thing I'm going to show you, which is also going to be like a 2.5.5. You can use these wonderful shake transitions to make it zoom more subtle. So let's say we want to zoom here. Because Sometimes that looks pretty cool if it's a still video. Just have like a little zoom, like so. What you can actually do then, is use the shake while you zoom. That makes it look very natural, very cool. Take a look.
So the next one I'm going to show you is a wild one. We're going to use our vertical shake transition, like so. But we're going to juice it up with some chromatic aberrations. So go over here into your video effects, immersive video via chromatic aberration and apply that. And basically, if I just turn off the shake real quick, it does this, right? So you can make it look wild. So what we're going to do is we're going to match up the chromatic aberrations with the blur. So go to the start of your adjustment layer and key the aberration red and aberration blue. And here there's no rights or wrongs, you just want to go wild. So maybe let's turn this down and this one way up. Go one more frame and let's turn this one a little bit back, something like this. Let's go very ham here. Take a look. The last one is really cheeky one if you just want some quick blur. So we're going to use adjust layer again. Make it 10 frames by pressing down shift and pressing the right arrow key like so. You're going to go into here. Video fix. Distort wave warp and just apply that so you get these waves right but you want to change the wave type to noise and you want to change the pinning to all edges and you want to change the height to 25 the width to something wild like 8000 maybe let's change the direction to zero and this one actually create this weird glitchy shape take a look So the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can use these shake transitions on text without having the background to shake. So I'm just going to create some text real quick. Give me a second. All right, and we're back. Let's say I want some text like this and I want it to transition between the text with the shakes. So how do we do that? We just apply one of our shakes. Let's maybe do these. This one maybe, I don't know. Of course we're gonna transition it down as well. As you can see right now, the entire screen is shaking. Right? All you have to do is select it, right click, and nest. Like so. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. This was a little bit more in depth tutorial than I usually do. But I still wanted to keep it relatively quick because no one wants to watch a 20 minute tutorial on how to apply one effect, right? But anyways, I hope you learned something new. If I helped you, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Also, please comment and letting me know which type of tutorial you would like to see next. But anyways, bye guys.